Mr. President, there is something everyone around the world wants to know. It's about your repeated bashing of former President Donald Trump. Is there a reason he's being mentioned a lot lately in your interviews? Good question, Cooper. Well, you see, the issue with Donald is that he acts like a kid. We can't have a man-child who can't keep Calm his down. composure as a president of this great nation. If he's elected again in 2024, this country will go downwards and everyone who voted for him will regret their decision in less than three months after he enters the office. So would you consider Donald Trump to be the worst president in the history of the world? Well, you see. Hold on, I'm not done yet. What was your question again? Do you consider Donald Trump to be the worst president in the history of the world? Well, there are a lot of bad apples out there, but if you really think about it, he is a traitor to America. So when it comes down to it, yes. Donald Trump is the worst president the world has ever seen. I'm actually done with this shit, Barack. You didn't have to break the $9,000 self-repairing TV we bought yesterday. How long have we been friends with that bastard and he stabs us in the back like that? We have done everything for him and he still decides to betray us. I mean, I guess you have a point, but what the hell are we supposed to do about it? Cry him a river? That attitude is what got your wife packed up so I would keep my mouth shut. Damn. Don't worry, I'll have something for you Earth soon to enough, Donald you Trump. bastard. Are you high or something? I said, what are we going to do about it? We are going to assassinate that bastard. Huh. For this mission to be successful, we need a fail-proof plan because even though Biden acts dumb, he is actually somewhat intellectual and he may be able to stop our efforts. Now we need to catch him lacking and slipping up. I think that will give us the perfect opportunity. I want to do this after what he did to my damn wife. I hope you know I participated in the plan of assassinating your wife. Don't worry, I'll have something for you soon enough. Wait, what? Hold on. All right, Barack, so what I'm going to do is call Biden and see if we can get him on a mission. Hey, Donald, what do you need? I'm kind of busy right now with my campaign. We have a mission to save a very important person from Mount Chiliad, and he's an old friend of mine, and he's being held up there by some kidnappers, and I need your help. He also owns a huge ice cream chain and can hook you up for life. Shit, bet I'll join you guys, but you're going to have to wait a bit because I have some announcements I have to make on TV. Just make your way to the Bay Tree Canyon stage in about an hour. Sure, I'll be on my way, Biden. Good luck with your announcements. Hey guys, where's the damn ice cream I ordered one hour ago? Rapido, man, rapido. Also, what the hell is wrong with Donald? I guess he got a new girlfriend. All right, Barack, let's head to the location he sent us. We have to stay on high alert, all right. I just realized how much of a bitch you are, Donald. Ha! Say that dumb shit to my face one more time, I dare you. I just realized how much of a <laughs> the holy <laughs> already you're starting to piss me off you are. I know damn well you aren't talking be quiet before I get my Hawaiian gangsters on you. Let's be honest, Peter Griffin, you have no females. You aren't winning in 2024, and you're about to lose all your money because I'm about to hack into your accounts and take it for myself. What is you yapping on about, bro? I honestly do not care. I'm living my life, you incoherent, intolerant man-child. Unlike you, I actually have a wife. Isn't that funny? All right, bro. Anyway, so here's what I'm planning to do. We are going to pick up Biden, take him to Mount Chiliad, and make some bullshit excuse to get onto a high platform. I don't know if lying to a president of the United States is a smart idea. All right, remember what we planned, Barack. It's just me and you, the original duo, the original first presidents in our group till Biden rolled around in 2020. Wasn't Biden a vice president at first? So what the hell are you talking about? Let's be honest, we all know that 81-year-old committed election fraud. I thought this was common knowledge by now. Aren't you being charged with election fraud, or was it those hush money payments you sent? I never knew you were freaky, Donald. If it's none of your damn business, don't worry about it, Hussein. So you're basically admitting to it, I mean, you can do anything you want, Donald, but you aren't that one streamer. He didn't do anything, plus I'm telling you to stay out of my damn business and let me deal with my situations alone. This is why your wife cheats on you even still. Show me some video evidence that my wife cheats on me then, Trump. I'm all the evidence you need. How, how could you? Hey, Donald, hurry your ass up already before I have to go to another meeting. Stop using the radio. We are right next to each other. What the hell took you guys so long? I've been waiting here for hours on end. It's actually starting to tick me off. Are you delusional, Biden? We came as soon as you finished your announcement. I can't fathom how dumb you are on a daily basis. Let's go. <coughs> breathe, Biden. Breathe, breathe air. <coughs> Holy shit. Your breath smells, I couldn't give a damn if you can't breathe right now. <coughs> Close your mouth, it smells like a bunch of sardines that were marinated in apple cider vinegar and left out for a year. When's the last time you brushed your teeth, Biden? Oh my gosh, it's like a snowstorm in there. Shut up, you damn <coughs> hooligans, and tell me more about the mission. We're gearing up for a mission, a mission of paramount importance. We're heading to Mount Chiliad, Joe, and let me tell you, it's no picnic. We've got someone in trouble up there, someone who needs our help, and they need it now. The situation is dicey, Joe, real dicey. But I believe in you, Joe. I believe in your leadership, Shit. your strength, your ability to rise to the occasion. We're counting on you to lead us through this, Joe. 
We're counting on you to be the guiding light in the darkness, the steady hand on the wheel. So Joe, I need you to dig deep to find that reservoir of strength within you and lead us to victory. Can you do that, Joe? Can you be the leader we need? What the hell are you yapping about, bro? There is ice cream involved? Donald John Trump, I want you to fully understand that your wish is my command and I will- Shut it! Well, folks, let me tell you, if we could turn rain into ice cream, we'd have more flavors than Baskin Robbins. It'd be a real game changer, not just for dessert lovers, but for agriculture, water conservation, you name it. We'd be scooping up solutions left and right, but you know, until that day comes, let's keep working on making life a little sweeter for everyone. Hey, Obama, what the hell is up with Joe today? Nice drift, just like ice cream, I scream for ice cream. He has gelatomania syndrome. What the hell is gelatomania syndrome? It doesn't even exist. It captures the obsession with ice cream, gelato, and the manic behavior associated with it. Me and some other Democrats diagnosed Biden and wrote a name for his mental issues. Hey, what are you two cutie ice cream cones talking about? Ooh, I just want to take a bite. Pause. Yeah, I see what you mean, Barack. This man has become really mental, but it may work in our favor. What are you two talking about may work in whose favor the ice cream man we are about to save? Tell me more. Tell me all the damn stories about, hold on, what the hell is going on? Where are we? What? Oh, yeah, we are about to save some uh, guy from Mount whatever, right? Hey, Barack, pass me an AK-47 and a Glock 19 with a switch on it real fast. Sorry! Man, it looks amazing up here. We've come so far as friends ever since that block thing. I forgot the name of it, but wow, it's amazing. Yeah, and it's really sad. Things will never be the same after this mission. Why is that? Are we disbanding or something? You know I love you guys. This is going to be your final mission, so I want you to put your all into it, all right? Just like old times, best friend. What happened? We all have been busy lately. You have been working on your campaign. Barack has been in retirement focusing on his love life. And I'm dealing with federal cases and my campaign. I'm afraid we can't keep this going for much longer, so I'm calling it quits here for you on this mission. So you're telling me this is the final mission? Yeah, totally, bro. It's the final mission. I understand. Let's do our best then. Donald, I'm using a one-way frequency. He can't hear what I'm saying, but good job. I never knew you were such a good liar. We won't be done anytime soon. If our sources are right, he should be arriving at this platform soon, and then we will take advantage of it to kill his kidnappers. Why don't we intercept the cart into the air? We have enough technology to be able to pull it out I'll of the tracks. I'll explain everything later. Just follow me, Biden. Is that the tram cart you were talking about? There is no one in there. They must have took him. What do we do? We need to intercept them immediately. No, it's fine. We already have our target. What are you talking about, Donald? Joe, let's be honest here. You've had your chance and you've blown it big time. I've been watching from the sidelines, trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. But it's clear you just can't handle I'm the job. I'm asking where the target is. Barack, let me and Donald speak alone. The country's falling apart and it needs someone who can actually get things done. That someone is me. I'm stepping up to the plate because frankly, you're just not cutting it. Believe me, it's what's best for everyone, including you. You're our target, Joe Biden. Wait, what? This has to be some kind of sick joke. What are you doing, Donald? All those damn times you made fun of me, you assassinated my wife. I told you this would happen. Stop running away. I'm here to assassinate you. So you're going to give up all our damn memories over some girl, really, Donald? Okay. Okay. Folks, I'm going to start mining, Trump. You go to find a village, and you Biden. I don't know. Do something useful. No worries. I already found what to do. Boys, guess what we are doing today? Um, I guess we're looking at you standing in front of a building. We are searching for classified documents or what? Don't worry about that, Obama. The answers are incorrect because today we are going to rob a bank. What do you mean, we? Everything we have built up to this point has it meant nothing to you, nothing at all. I trusted you and Barack with my life, and just because I say something on TV that's enough for you to switch up on me? Take the stairs again, so good. All right, let me make sure he's really dead. I wonder what would happen if I used one of his swords. Actually, no, I don't want anything of hey, his. Hey, Donald Trump, let me tell you something you should hear. He's the worst president the world has ever seen. You aren't a good person. Can't believe this man is still qualified to run in 2024. Pictures we have posted, including the one we just took. Man, imagine if dinosaurs were still alive. Wouldn't that be really crazy, guys? Why? Why would you do this to me? Your name is Donald. Nice to meet you. I'm Joe Biden. I think we will make a great team, Mr. President. I don't want to do this. I do not want to do this. You still have a choice. I do not have a choice. 
after all we've been through. Barack Obama, Joe Biden, and Donald Trump will be the best presidents in the history of the world. This means everything to me. Just let me end this peace. Farewell, best friend. What's wrong with me? I didn't have to do that. Was there no other way? Keep your head up, Obama. We will be all right. I know, but it just, it just makes me so sad. Until next time, brave warrior. I'm never watching something like that again. What was I thinking? I mean, I trust them, don't I? Maybe I should look forward instead of always looking back. No matter what, we always stick together, you and me. We leave no one behind. Is that the first time I was, I was ever scared of something?